Oh, hold on, my cat is upstaging everyone. Come here, what are you doing? I have, I have a cat sitting right here as well, so. Aww. <laughs> I miss my cat. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, yes. <laughs> I have another one too. Look at those. A quick picture of everybody here. Uh, guys, absolute pleasure to talk to you both. Many, many years after, after Bill and Ted, here we are talking about it <laughs> once, once again. Um, yeah, here we are. Madness, madness. I was only a wee nipper when this one came out. So uh, yeah, fantastic. Oh. Um, I just wanted to begin with you guys, maybe starting with you first, Diane, about just, is it, is it strange to be talking about a movie so many years afterwards? Or is that, is that kind of a pleasure that you get as, as actors that, that there is a, you have a movie in your career or a couple of movies in your career that you, you get to kind of revisit every, every so often? Um, well, it definitely, it definitely is a surprise that we're still talking about it. I mean, first of all, and even the idea that, you know, we have social media and we have things, you know, availability to watch films today on the internet. It, there's such an easy accessibility of films. As an actress, I think this has never happened, you know, before where actors were given the opportunity to, to watch their films freely or, or have the new generations watch films. So just even with technology, that's the first part that makes it so amazing. And then the fact that it's Bill and Ted's, um, Personally, I love that because it is such an upbeat film and I love the message of being excellent to each other. And, uh, you know, I think that it is incredibly wonderful that this film can be shown in schools. It can be shown, you know, to the next generation. Uh, you can share it as a family. Uh, so when we did the film, people didn't see it that way. You know, family, this, this wasn't considered a film that was going to do well or, you know, even it, it was very hard getting it made. So I, I have to say that it's very exciting that it proved it wrong and that people do remember us. <laughs> or even <laughs> the princesses, yes. Yeah, for sure. Is that the same for you, Kimberly? That it's, that it's such a nice thing that people remember it and also there's new generations discovering the movie every year that it, it carries on. Oh, absolutely. It was, it's such a surprise. I mean, it really is. And I, we've had to go back and look at pictures and like, remember what's, you know, what happened. And a, a lot of things came to me that I completely forgot about things about George Carlin, things about shooting the movie in Rome, but where it hit me that this film actually had this, this life, these legs was with my niece, Harmony, who's in a band called Girl Pool. And when she was in high school, uh, she's like early twenties, she's in high school. She got her first job being a DJ and she's like, I think it helped that I said my auntie was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Like your auntie was in the movie? And the right. guy, they were like a decade older. They're like, your aunt was in that movie? That's so cool. Who was she? One of the princesses. And she's like, I think it opened the doors musically for her a little bit. I mean, her dad's a wonderful musician as well, but it did help like to say, I'm like, use it all you want. If it helps you, please, you know, <laughs> use this, use it that, you know, anyway, so that, that was, that was like, oh, okay, I guess there, there's some substance to this movie. And then what happened in the last five years or so, Diane and I have been asked to do a lot of appearances together. Mm -hmm. um, and the movie has found a whole new life with this whole generation, this generation that is so awesome and so cool and so positive and like wanting to change the way the world is. I mean, more than ever. And that movie was, I, I believe Bill and Tez was ahead of its time and its message mm -hmm in this whole vibe, because it's, it's really current in a lot of ways. Like the, the generation now is it's what Bill and Ted's matches up with a little bit more than, yeah. So anyway, so it's been a lot of fun. And, you know, it does give Diane and I some um, opening, like, oh, I was, a, you know, a princess in this movie. And you get that quality back again. And, and Diane and I have like a reunited and we, we are building a, a whole, I was thinking, you know, we didn't do face the music and that's okay because out of adversity, a lot of times positivity comes. And Diane and I have like, oh, we came up with the most brilliant thing that we're doing right now. We're having a whole yes. new company that we're launching. It we're bringing other, other, women in, other women into this. It is not only do I get to this thing that we've done, I can't say it yet, but it's living in that world of Bill and Ted's and the princess vibe and that feeling every day. If you could you live will see like the princesses that, again. Day. Yes, we will be coming back strong we, and it's it's just it's a way of revisiting it but not just for diane and i but for everyone uh, what mm -hmm. we're doing is for everybody and i can't wait to because i i don't think that being a princess i don't think the feeling of bill and ted should be exclusive to us i think it we want to include everyone and that's what we are doing with this new company that we're going to be launching 
um, it's in process right now, um, but it's, it's very uh, ambitious, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll and see what happens. I'm excited about it. I just wanted to say that um, uh, it was it's such a, a fun experience when we did Bill and Ted's working with everyone. We had such a great time that um, it's very exciting to see that they are doing Bill and Ted's uh, too. We're excited to see it as well. Um, you know, obviously there's new princesses and you know what? We're applaud all the princesses that are in the film. We think, you know, all, all, the, all of them we're friends with, um, you know, I know the other princesses who, are, who is in Bogus um, and they're wonderful. Um, but we're also, um, I think we're talking about the camaraderie of the guys. That's the most important thing. And I, I just think I, people are feeling that in the film. So we just want you to know that there's the camaraderie between the princesses as well. Maybe we'll have an yes. event where all the princesses will be there. Who knows? I mean, that's what, personally, I would think that we, sorry, we're diverting a little bit, Scott. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, um, no. Okay, I just thought I had a concept as a film producer now that um, I would have really loved to see because Bill and Ted, let's face it, they're a little immature. Now, immature guys, <laughs> They toss the women aside, you know, they get a little older. Sorry, I'm like, sorry men out there. I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but, but women, we understand this. We can make fun of it. We are accepting of this male behavior by some, not all men, mm -hmm. but Bill and Ted definitely have a little bit of a quality that would be in that category, but we still love them anyway. We love unconditionally because we are princesses and we because love- Because we're princesses, okay? <laughs> we have kind <laughs> hearts, we love right? unconditionally. We understand the whole human behavior. Um, so anyway, I think it would be hilarious if all three princess sets of princesses were making fun of Bill and Ted, but still love them anyway. And then we Take do the our- The that we are. <laughs> You know, the three, the three sets of Princess X's, I think that would be a very fun movie to watch. As opposed to, it's like an elephant in the room when you have like, okay, we got younger girls again. It's like a little bit of an elephant in the room. It's like, are we mm -hmm. not going to call this out for what it is? Who cares? You know, yep. it's human It's human behavior and it's like, it's part of life. Um, but I think that to me, it's looking at these things and it's looking at these things and examining them in film and having great writers that take a look, you know, write these type of things and write these storylines and get in, dig into the psyche of, of, of human beings is fascinating to me and funny and really, really funny. There's so much humor to be gleaned out of this. Um, anyway, so Diane and I, we, as a, we don't feel hostile at all uh, towards these women or like, you know, I could do a lot of things no. like, Hell hath They're no fury. People Fun. are asking you know, me all these things. I'm like, no, I, Diane and I have come up with this concept, or I did. I brought Diane along with my crazy idea, and we're going to be launching this whole thing soon. But I just think that um, I just love the experience of Bill and Ted so much, and the first one, and I learned so much, and it was such a gift that I would never, you know, I would never want to dismiss that gift at all. I could say something else, but I would never want to dismiss this gift. Um, it, was and, and I, I, it was a golden moment for us as actresses to be able to play these characters. And uh, also, you know, we traveled to Rome and we're at the Orsini Castle and we got to go to Arizona and we got to shoot. They, Bill and Ted did take us to the prom. This is film that has not been seen. Maybe they have it somewhere someday they'll show it. But yes, Bill and Ted finally did take us to the prom. So just know. And, yeah, I remember um, when George Carlin took us in a phone booth into the gymnasium. I mean, that's the actual scene. Yeah, that's we, right. landed, it, we landed in the gym with George Carlin and we go out of the phone booth, similar to the ending, but we, we did it inside a gym, which was, and then, I think, kind of cool. Didn't, I think we did the prom yeah. dance. We did the dance with them at the we end, dance. like slow dancing. Dance. Yeah, and we had, Diana oh, no. had lovely dresses and we went through this whole, I think that they were like prom king and queen and that was, yes. you know, we were like, right. we were prom king and queen. We prom king and queen <laughs> and we walked through. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, go yeah. back in time and, and show that. <laughs> I didn't, that was know, really I, I didn't know that existed. I didn't know that you guys had done that. I was not aware that that existed because obviously right. it's, 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 it's exciting. Yes, there is, <laughs> there is footage that we didn't, you know, use. I don't know. And I would love to see what happened to that footage because they, I mean, I don't know if they lost it or if it just lost footage because it, so many people want to see the, that outtake and see what I the really, real yeah. thing was. Um, but then Diana, like a year later, we shot the Oh, ending in the garage with the band and that whole that whole sequence with George and with George um, again in the phone and the phone in the garage and <laughs> yeah. and the the one thing that was really fun about that that I thought about because we've talked about it in the last year is Diane and I and Keanu and Alex um, I think Tim Sherstead the DP and 
um, George Carlin, we got to tour the Vatican together, the Colosseum oh, wow. in Rome, the Spanish Steps. We went everywhere together. And so- By the way, just interjecting the obviously, now you know, sadly, we did not shoot the castle scene in England, which we would have loved to do. Um, <laughs> but sadly, uh, but they did shoot it in Italy because that is where the Arsini Castle was. And Dino De Laurentiis, who was, I think, doing the film at the time, putting, he had connections in Italy to shoot it. So that's why we were there. Um, but. Uh, we would have loved to. Next time, if we do a Bill Intense 4, can we come back and we'll be in, in England? <laughs> I was going to ask you, actually, you mentioned there about the guys and their characters and, 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 you know, the place of men in the world and how it is then to now. What was your reaction when you found out that they were going to have daughters in, in the new film? Oh, well, the daughters, I loved. I loved the daughters. Um, and in fact, a little inside thing is my, my daughter, my actual daughter auditioned to play oh, wow. my daughter. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> So I, that was a very exciting moment and I was really very, so she's an actress. She actually has a, a show on Snapchat called, called Barely, uh, no, it's called Apocalypse Goals. Her name is Olivia De Laurentiis. So if you're interested in finding out, she's an actress and a filmmaker and uh, she is uh, Olivia De Laurentiis. And she auditioned for uh, the young Ted daughter. But, um, you know, uh, and then, you know, there was a moment where they did consider Kim and I, I mean, they knew we really wanted to be back in the, in the film. And, um, but I, so it was, there was a moment where everything could have been different. It could have been me with Olivia as our daughter. Like, wow. Like, I just thought that would have been amazing for the fans. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's exciting they're doing, I, I'm glad that they have daughters. I'm, I'm glad that they've, you know, brought it more current, more current, because I think originally, in the second one, they had sons, and so now that they have now they have daughters now I mean, they're daughters. Um, but I, I love the concept, and um, yeah, I think the girls that are playing the roles also are really really strong actors and actresses, mm -hmm. and um, they look really interesting. And I'm I'm more interested to see the movie because of the daughters in a way. Um, as much yeah. as I love Alex and Keanu, I really want to see what they do with the roles because it's a it is a whole new generation. Yeah. And but since my niece Harmony is in this band called Girl Pool, which is kind of the music that they are making in the sense like make music, she writes beautiful lyrics, music to change the world. Um, I'd be really interested to see like the kind of music that they do and the lyrics and what is bringing, you know, this world peace that they're talking about uh, together. So anyways, it's, and I don't know, like what, when are they gonna release the movie and how is it gonna be released with this whole COVID thing now? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm very curious to see how they're gonna get because I think it deserves a wide release. I think a lot of people mm. will watch it. So, yeah, for and, sure. You know, hopefully, you know, it would be, be awesome. You know, I don't know if anybody's done it, like a whole community, like online sort of viewing of a movie. Like everybody, like we're going to premiere this movie online. That would be amazing. Everybody together. And it's, if you want to donate some money afterwards, cool. But it's like, that would be like a really fun way to like premiere a movie like this. Um, but I don't, I don't know what they're going to do because it's, it's, the date keeps changing because the theaters keep closing here and like yeah. opening and closing and who knows what's going to happen. Also, I just want to say what's really nice about the girls being Bill and Ted this now is, um, you know, we're really ready, I think, for that in the world. We're ready for the girls to be not only princesses, which we love, we love the princesses, but we also like to see girls who are real, like they're just regular girls that we can identify with. And uh, I think the world is ready for those kind of role models. And I think it's gonna be incredibly popular. Um, not, not only, um, I think girls are gonna identify with that. They're gonna identify with, I think, all the characters, but that is a very exciting thing. So I think it's, it's a timely, and if you're talking about time travel, I think it's, it's found its time. I think it's great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, guys, absolute pleasure to talk to you both. Thank you so much. I could have talked to you for, for many, many more minutes, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, my time is up. But thank you so much. Absolute Scott pleasure. Youngman. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Bye -bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!